ഈശോ മിഷിയായിക്ക് സ്തുതിയായിരിക്കട്ടെ ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹോപ്പ് യു ഓൾ ഹാർ ഡൂയിങ് ഗുഡ് ലാസ്റ്റ് സൺഡേ വി ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് സാക്രമെൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ബാപ്റ്റിസം വിച്ച് വി റിസീവ്ഡ് വെൻ വി ആർ സ്മോൾ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഡൂയിങ് ദ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി നൗ ഹോപ്പ് യു റിമെമ്പർ യുവർ ഡേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ബാപ്റ്റിസം ആൻഡ് നോ യുവർ ഗോഡ് പാരൻസ് Today, after the class, you all are going to call your godparents and talk with them. You also have to pray for their good health. Hope you remember the fruits of baptism. I hope you have learned the creed. If not, then daily read the creed. slowly you will learn it by heart today let's start with the le- fifth lesson anointing the anointing in the holy spirit also known as sacrament of confirmation in this sacrament we receive holy spirit which gives us strength and courage to be a witness to Jesus it also gives us the power to fight against evil so let's go ahead and see what all happened when Jesus gave holy spirit in this world after the ascension of Jesus the disciples closed the doors of the house and were in deep prayer Mary the mother of Jesus was also with them the disciples were afraid that they too will be caught and killed on the day of the pentecost while they were praying holy spirit descended on them the holy spirit came to all of them in the form of tongues of fire the disciples filled with the spirit got new courage and power peter who denied Jesus thrice began to speak publicly to the people about Jesus listening to his speech 3000 believed in Jesus on the same day other disciples also empowered by the holy spirit went to different parts of the world and started preaching the courage and power which they received by the anointing of the holy spirit enabled them even to become martyrs for Jesus children which disciple came to india yes it's saint thomas once he received holy spirit he was empowered he traveled over the seas and came to a country He preached about a Lord Jesus Christ. He was even ready to die for our Lord. In the same way, when we will receive the sacrament of confirmation or anointing, we should prepare ourselves thoroughly. We must pray nicely and prepare so that we receive all the gifts of Holy Spirit Stephen was one of the seven deacons of the early church even when the crowd rushed to stone him to death he remained fearless by the power of the holy spirit he was empowered by the holy spirit even to pray for those who stoned him and forgive them saint stephen is the first martyr of the church children There is a special power which we get when we receive holy spirit the power to do only good things which god wants us to do the power to forgive and pray for anyone who hurts us it also helps us to preach the gospel and spread kingdom of god we need to pray daily and be very close to jesus and be good children of god 
when jesus is along with us we can be away from evils or bad things each sacrament brings us more close to god jesus had promised his holy spirit even before his death the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you everything and remind you of all that i have said to you the book of john chapter 14 verses 26 when the apostles prayed over those who received baptism they also received the power of the holy spirit now when the apostles at jerusalem heard that samaria had accepted the word of god they sent peter and john to them the two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the holy spirit then Peter and John laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit from the acts of the apostles chapter 8 verses 14 to 17 Saint Paul met a few disciples in Jerusalem they had not received the Holy Spirit they had received only the baptism of John the Baptist hence they received baptism in the name of Jesus and when Paul prayed over them Holy Spirit descended on them. Acts of Apostles chapter 19 verses 2 to 6. Children, the sacrament of anointing or confirmation is the continuation of the sacrament of baptism. We can also say it is the completion of baptism. Hope you all remember in baptism we became free from our original sin and your god parents had taken a promise for you as you were a baby now it's time to fulfill that promise as we again receive holy spirit in confirmation in today's world where it is very easy to fall into temptation and to do sins we are tend to lose our faith in god as evil spirit wants as to go away from god this sacrament and all sacraments helps us to prepare to confront the challenges of faith in this world we should never lose our faith in jesus We receive the special power and charisms of the Holy Spirit through the sacrament of anointing. This sacrament empowers us to preach the gospel and to witness to Jesus with prophetic courage. This sacrament also gives us the power to fight against evil. Sacrament of anointing is a sacrament that gives us who have been made children of God by being born again in the holy spirit through baptism the power and special charisms to proclaim the gospel of jesus christ and to give witness to him charism is a spiritual gift or talent given by god to people not mainly for his own sake but for the benefit of others so children holy spirit is also giving us this special gift but we need to pray and become good children of god to get the charism of holy spirit we need to take a decision today that i will lead a life of witness to jesus i will always do good to others i will forgive those who hurt me and will pray for them Baptism, anointing and holy kurbana are called sacraments of initiation. Anointing is a continuation and completion of baptism. These sacraments enable the faithful to be true Christian witnesses. In anointing, we obtain the gifts and charisms of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are seven in number. They are wisdom, understanding, counsel knowledge fortitude piety and fear of god
Besides these gifts, the Holy Spirit gives special charisms required for the proclamation of the gospel and the spreading of his kingdom. The gift of tongues, charism of prophecy, charism for ministry, teaching charism, charism of counsel, charism of alms giving, charism of vision, charism of healing, and charism of performing miracles are some of the charisms that the Holy Spirit gives. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 to 10 All these charisms are given to perfect the children of the church, to build up the church, the body of Christ, and spread the kingdom of God. The fruits of the Holy Spirit are the signs that the Holy Spirit lives in us. The fruits of the Holy Spirit mainly are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, self-control, holiness, chastity, and endurance. The main signs of the sacrament of anointing are praying over the candidate by the celebrant and the anointing on the forehead. An invisible relationship with Jesus and the church is established through this. A never erasable seal is cast on the soul of the one who receives the sacrament. This sacrament can be received only once in life. Again, it prepares the Christian to confront the challenges of faith in this world. Fruits of the Sacrament of Anointing We get a special anointing of the Holy Spirit. We obtain the gifts and charisms of the Holy Spirit. It empowers us to produce the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It empowers us to proclaim the gospel. It gives us the power to witness to Jesus. It strengthens us to fight against evil. We should not lose the charisms, fruits and gifts of the Holy Spirit which we receive in the sacrament of anointing. We must be careful to listen to the promptings of the Holy Spirit to choose good, to avoid evil, and to grow in virtue. We have to pray and strive for that. Let us pray. O oh Lord, who gave the apostles of the Holy Spirit and filled them with the spirit of the gospel, be merciful to pour out the gifts of your Holy Spirit in our community too. A word of God to remember. Divided tongues as so fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. From the Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. Let us read the Word of God with devotion. The Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. Let us do, write the mystery of the rosary that describes the descent of the Holy Spirit. My decision, I will be a witness to Jesus among my friends. Activity, write or draw the seven gifts of Holy Spirit. Color and use your creativity. Take a photo of your drawing and send to your teacher before 7th August. Have a blessed Sunday. Take care of health. Goodbye. Isha Mishaikim Studi Ayrikite.